Josh of CavalierAthleteX.com. What is it about gymnasts that allows them to get the level of muscularity that they're known for? Particularly in the fact that they don't spend a lot of their time in gyms lifting weights. Matter of fact, most of their time is spent on skill work or doing body weight training to improve their skill work. So check out this clip of this gymnast making a pretty regular transition for them and see if you can spot what you think it is that's attributing to their gains. Now, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that I'm a big fan of time under tension. And time under tension is one of those factors that can allow us to build muscle. But is it what's causing the muscle growth that we know all the time in gymnasts? It's not. Because if you think about time under tension, I could take a band right here, put it under my feet, and get into a curl position. I have tension here on my biceps. But is this enough to cause a growth and overload, or certainly to the degree that you see in a gymnast? It's not. What about eccentric? You saw a lot of eccentric transitioning between movement and movement there. Well, we know that eccentric training and overload is a great way to cause the muscle damage necessary to spark new growth. However, I will say that again, a eccentric overload can happen in any exercise. I could be experiencing an eccentric load, again, right here with this band, and as I come down, this is an eccentric contraction. But again, is this enough of a, of a stimulus to cause new growth? It's not. So that's not the answer. There's isometric components to gymnastics. But I could do an isometric like this and hold my hands together as hard as I possibly can. Is this going to cause muscle growth in my body? It's not. So what you have to notice is that the one key element of a gymnast training program is the transitions between movements under high loads. So what am I talking about? Well, I put together a couple transitions that I actually work on and do in my training. And it's just sort of, a, it's a way to kill two birds with one stone and create a more efficient movement pattern. And the exercises kind of blend together nicely, but more so, it demands that my body has complete control under high levels of tension and able to move my own body through space throughout that tension. I call it sort of like a dynamic isometric, right? Because we're having a lot of holding exercises, but we're doing transitions between them. So if you look first at this sort of uh, lever raise into an L sit pull up, then into a sort of swiveling L, right, to the right and to the left. This is a much different movement than if you tried to do any of them in isolation. And that I think is the key for why gymnasts are as strong as they are. There's time under tension, there's eccentric training, there's isometric components, and there's this sort of transitioning between all of those elements while having to have complete control of your body and core and plug up the energy leaks that leads to this immense amount of growth. I carry it over to another move here as well. This one is a dip combined with a plus. The plus is great for the serratus, for our shoulder blades, for the strength of our entire shoulder girdle. And then I can go into a gymnast ab tuck, which allows me to pull my pelvis up high using only my abs. And then I come back down again and I proceed into another dip, back into the plus, and then back into that gymnast ab tuck. So now we have sort of a pushing movement combo and we have a pulling movement combo. Now these are hard. These are not easy. I don't expect you to be able to run out and do these same exact transitions. I'm going to come up with more of these transitions for you. But the fact of the matter is I believe it's this combination of those elements I talked about placed into transitions that creates the level of muscularity that gymnasts see from their training. Now if you can't do any of this but you want to start, start to at least experience what I'm talking about then dial it back a little bit. Go back to that dip position and put yourself in a position of the plus. So engage all those muscles of your shoulder girdle, get your core activated, plus yourself out. You should feel it in your chest. I talked about before having your shoulder blades depressed. Now do this sort of backwards and forwards bicycling. What you're doing is you're experiencing this movement of your body under tension. You've got this sort of isometric position held and you have to move your body around and through that. You feel how much different that feels for all the muscles that you just engaged by forcing yourself to control it as, you, uh, as your body weight drifts forward and as your body weight drifts back and as your body weight drifts forward and as your body weight drifts back. It is a major difference in how it feels as opposed to just holding the dip or even doing dips by themselves. Same thing can happen here on the pull-up bar. You've probably seen this before. I'm not trying to do, I'm not trying to do this uh, in sync with music or anything like that. That's not what this is about. This is not choreographed. I'm just trying to place my body and move it through space, transition through space, while I have my legs moving and holding 
this pull-up position. Yeah, I'm going up and down into a pull-up, but that's not the focus of the exercise. It's more about engaging the, the muscles and then moving through it. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Start figuring out ways that you can experience that transitioning in some of the exercises you're doing. I, as I said, I gave you two of the more advanced ones here. I'm gonna give you some more here in the future, but the main point is if you're looking for a bodyweight training program that uses nothing but your own body weight and creates the overload needed to create muscle growth, I've got you covered there. That I know. That's our Athlean Zero program. It's over at athleanx.com. It's a six week program. It uses no equipment at all, just your own body in space to allow you to start building some serious muscle. All right, guys, I'll see you back here in just a couple days. I hope you found this one helpful. Make sure you leave your comments and let me know whatever else you want to see here with our Bioweight Wednesday videos. See you.